Man, I just feel like I've been so busy lately. Yeah, I know what you mean with exams and everything. Yeah, I know. It just seems like time just flies by. What happened to my apple, man? What do you mean? It's all brown. Like, how did it turn brown? Brown? Well, actually, that's a perfect example of enzymes in action. What is an enzyme anyway? An enzyme is a type of protein. Most, enzyme, most enzymes have specific functions, but they tend to alter the initial molecule and turn it into a product. An enzyme adds, subtracts, or changes the shape of a molecule and acts as a type of catalyst. But in this case, we have a specific molecule called catechol. Once the apple is exposed to oxygen by slicing, dropping, or eating it, the enzyme called polyphenol oxidase comes into play. Over time, the brownness of the apple is a result of the growing amount of benzoquinone in the apple. Whoa, that was uh, quite the uh, specific scientific explanation. So, are you saying that every time I eat an apple, I have to eat the entire thing or else it'll turn brown? Actually, there are many ways to interfere with enzyme. You can put lemon juice on top of the slices. It slows down the process because you're reducing the level, the pH level on the surface of the fruit. Another way to prevent the browning is to limit the apple supply of oxygen, like by putting the slices in water. So does this only happen to apples? No, actually. Enzymes affect all living things all the time. But some examples you may have seen or heard of are bananas, potatoes, and pears. Wow. Wow, knowing all of this about enzymes, I'll never eat an apple the same way again. <laughs> Dang.